Did I ever doubt that I would be successful? Um, yeah. Definitely. Um, I was 18 when I got pregnant and I dropped out of school. And then I had like a decade of bartending and working at a bank and partying too hard and dating losers. And like, I, I just thought that I was destined to live a life of mediocrity, I guess, of just like survival mode constantly. Um, and it wasn't until I became absolutely fully, completely fed up with my own BS. Like your life is embarrassing, Erin. You've got nothing. You're in debt. You, 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 you've wasted all this time. All your friends are like a million years ahead of you. And you're just like in this dive bar. Like, what are you doing? Like, I was so sick of my own, my own shitty life that I was like, okay, well, I have two options here. One, we're not going to talk about because you know, and then the other option was just to get better to try to, 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 to change the trajectory, to stop doing the same behaviors that were keeping me sad and depressed and down and actually change. And I did that. So I started listening to audiobooks. I got up and I made my bed. Like some days that was all I could put together was getting up and making the bed, <laughs> like, and then working for 12 or 14 hours and then coming home and like, shoveling food in my face and going back to sleep and then waking up in the morning and being like, no, I'm changing. Today's different. I'm going to make my bed. And then I was like, okay, and I'm also going to eat a healthy breakfast. And then like slowly and surely things started to turn around. And I started that process a long time before I ever started my e-commerce store. And without starting that process, I would have never started the e-commerce store. So no, I, I wake up all the time and I'm like, what the who the, whose life is this? Like, what are we talking about? Like, I'm not supposed to live here. I'm not supposed to have all this. Somebody's going to come here and take it all away from me. I really, I feel that all the time because by all accounts and purposes, having a baby as a single teenager was not supposed to equal a successful life.